Now we're going to go over how to improve your hip mobility. A lot of the times what happens in the case of low back pain or knee pain is the hips are actually tight. Okay, so they're not moving like they should, which then means that the low back has to move more and the knees become unstable to compensate. One of the biggest restrictions I find when I'm working with clients is lack of mobility into rotation. So we're going to work on internal rotation of the hip. What you're going to do is you're going to first get into a 90-90 position. And what I mean by that is you're going to pull your toes up so the ankle is a 90 degree angle. My knee and thigh are a 90 degree angle. I have a 90 degree angle here through my hips. This knee is also 90 degrees and then this ankle is 90 degrees. Okay. Now for internal rotation, we're going to focus on the back leg. You can see right now that my glute is up off the mat, okay? So for passive mobility, we're going to work on sitting back, sitting that glute down onto the mat and into internal rotation. You may feel a stretch or a pull right here through your groin, okay? Do not force this. Move into where your body is able and focus on your breath. Now, the one thing I don't want you to do is I don't want you leaning back on your arms here or hanging out over here. Okay, we want to keep our trunk as upright as possible. I would rather have your trunk upright and you here than all the way sitting back but your trunk back. Okay, so we're going to sit back, put this glute on the mat, and we're going to focus on 10 breaths. When you're breathing, you want to breathe deep into your belly, in through your nose, and out through your mouth. Eight. Nine. Ten. After you've held this for about ten breaths, you're going to lean forward again and we're going to practice active mobility and active internal rotation. We want to teach our muscles to use the new range we've given them. So to actively internal get active internal rotation, you're going to work to lift that back foot off the ground. Okay? This may be really difficult for you at first. And if your foot doesn't move, that's okay. It's the effort that counts. Now, if you have a really hard time and you want to help yourself out, you can take a strap. This is a stretch strap. You don't need a fancy stretch strap. You could use a belt. You're going to loop it around your foot. Okay, and you're going to work with your hand to assist, okay? What I want you to do, though, is I want you to lift as far as you can first, and then you can pull with your hand, okay? We still want this to be pretty active because we're retraining your muscles, okay? You're going to cycle through sitting back into a passive stretch with those 10 breaths, and then coming forward to 10 active lifts two to three times. And this is how you're going to increase internal rotation at the hips. You want you to do this on both sides, okay? We wanna work both sides of our body to maintain symmetry. The biggest way to improve mobility is consistency and time. 